Hi guys, so today my mom is going to be answering questions you guys are too afraid to ask. And before we start the video, you want a shout out in my next YouTube video, you have to follow me on all my socials right here. So if you completed that, comment a brown heart down below and I will give you a shout out. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start off easy. What's the most trouble you've ever gotten? I didn't get in that much trouble, as you know. I was very good for most of the time. I used to get in trouble, like, let's say if I didn't want my little sister to come around with me, but I usually always let her come with me Yeah. places. The one thing that sticks out to me is I didn't get in trouble, but when I was older, I was like about 20 or 21, mm -hmm. I was at a club I used to like to go to called Aldo's. I never drank or anything like that. But Angel child. There was a guy who had a motorcycle, and I went on the back of the motorcycle for a ride. How um, dare my you? My whole family found out about it and they got really upset because I went at night. What time? And I had a boyfriend like at 12, 1, 2 in the morning. Mom! I, on a motorcycle ride. There was one time that my aunt thought that I was smoking, uh, walking around with my friends on the avenue. But you weren't. But I wasn't. They were all smoking like these skinny cigars. They were called tipperillos, but I wasn't smoking them. And then but my you were aunt, just hanging out with them. I was just with them. Then my aunt found out she would call me Miss Tipperillo. Oh, oh, there was one time. I oh, okay, her. okay. I, but I didn't get in trouble. My Aunt Dee used to have cigarettes in her bathroom, so I tried smoking one. I came downstairs, she's like, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. And then she started laughing, then I was tried her cigarette. What's something you always wanted to do but didn't, and why didn't you? Okay, this is easy. I always wanted to go to law school. I didn't because, and I'm not blaming anybody, it was my own fault. I felt responsible, like I had a boyfriend at the time, and he wanted to always come around with me, and if I went to the exhibits for the LSATs and to go to law school, he would like always be like, lurking around and coming around with me and I thought oh my gosh how am I gonna do all this and, and I felt like responsibility like other people and how they felt so I didn't pursue it wow so obviously you just had one child me but here's the question how long did it take you to lose the baby weight well that's easy first how much did you gain, like having me? I gained 35 pounds when I was pregnant. I actually can't. Uh, when I first got pregnant, I was very small, and then I got pregnant right away, first try. I was sick for three months, so nauseous, nauseous, nauseous. All I did was be able to eat like crackers and things like that. As soon as I had you, I came home from the hospital and my mom said, wow, your stomach is still like puffy. Normally, my mom had four kids and I'm her daughter. She said she went right down, so I started nursing Skylar. That whole week I felt like water was starting to build up yeah. and I never had any water retention when I was pregnant. My legs started swelling up like two tree trunks the Ew. first week after I had Skylar and I was nursing. How long did it take? Just let me tell the story. I had her on a Friday and we did all the nursing and uh, all the leg swelling and all this. So then I had to have a pisiotomy and I was cut down, you know, there for just just answer the question. But when I went in the hospital Friday, they, they sent me home like within a few hours, and all the weight was and gone. And it was down. So one week. One week. That yeah. that was all we were asking <laughs> for. Did you ever have second thoughts about having children? Once <laughs> I got pregnant with Skylar, I was so happy. Okay, and how about before? No, what had happened was I was running the office, Daddy's office, and I was getting more and more and more busy. And all our friends around us were having kids and everything, and I'm thinking, oh wow. Daddy always said he wanted three kids, and I'm like, my gosh, if I don't have a kid now, I am getting so busy with the office. I loved running the office. If I don't have one now, like when's my life gonna start? Yeah. So you didn't really have second thoughts? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. So, what is something crazy you did in college? I did nothing crazy in college. It might be that motorcycle, the motorcycle. ride. What I would do to co with college is I worked at an OBGYN. Yeah, uh, but you didn't do anything crazy. I went okay. to school and then I went to work and then I went to Just the gym and then school, I went work, gym. And she didn't live at college. So. No, I did not. I she drove. Was, she was not a scandalous girl. What was your biggest childhood fear? My biggest childhood fear was other mean girls. You didn't have like for me, I was afraid of quicksand. No, I had none of, no fears like that. I didn't, I was fearful of mean people. Of like spiders? No, okay. I was fearful of bullies. There's many out That's there. That's understandable. 
What's one article of clothing you wish you still had? Oh, all my shoes and all my... Um, Wait, all is my... that like the 90s? Or... So basically so... you still wear the clothes from the 80s. I was a child in the 70s, but I dressed like the 70s. But I wish I had some of the clothes and the, the, out, the shoes especially that I accumulated that I might have gotten rid of. Okay, last question. This is a really good one. If you could go back and relive one day in your life again, which one would it be? I like to relive when you were a baby again. Like a day when I was a baby. Yeah, a day when she a was a baby. A day when I was a baby. Mm -hmm. So that was it for this video. If you guys want a part two, let me know by liking this video. Make sure to follow me on all my socials so you can get a shout out in my next video. And if you followed all my socials, make sure to leave your brown heart down below. I'll see you guys in my next video, which is tomorrow. Bye.